Those epaulets deserve a room of their own. I can take the four coins back. Oh. The clever eyes put this one above the rank and file. That's why I assume first swab. Cheer up, little guy. You'll go far. Those epaulets deserve a room of their own. Hmm. There's got to be something on these that indicate how many coins they get. The clever eyes put this one above the rank and file. That's why I assume first swab. It's called the observant ones. So. One eye, two eyes. No open eye? Cheer up, little guy. You'll go far. Cheer up, little guy. You'll go far. What is... Sh Why is there a plug there? <laughs> Why is there a plug hanging down right there? Cheer up, little guy. Okay. You'll go far. How many coins do we have total? Five. I miss a coin somewhere? Maybe like three, two, one would work, but we only have five points. Maybe three, one, one? But then the first swab and the... He gets the most, one would assume. Maybe three, two, zero? The clever eyes put this one above the rank and file. That's why it's definitely I about being observant. So the, the, the hint has to be Oh yeah, we could use our real coin. It's true. Maybe that'll work. Nice. Cool. In real life, that would actually be Six zero zero, but you know it is a game, so. Lachuk, the secret is mine. You really do suck at puzzles, don't you? Ooh. How are you still alive? You will never have the secret. I will soon have my revenge. Then you will forever be cursed. And you will never escape. You will vanish with no tails. No, I will return. The secret is mine. Third time be a charm, three weed. She just Naruto run. I'm pretty sure she just Naruto ran. Next time, I keep my voice down. There's no way I'm getting through there. Only the bloodthirsty pirate will pass. It looks like its arm is hurt. It looks like its leg is hurt. <laughs> this is going to be a problem. 
There's no way I'm getting through there. Oh. Can we go back up? Oh, we can. Hold on. Okay. The bloodthirsty pirate. didn't seem to do anything. It's leaking some kind of oil all over the floor now. Kind of. Wait. Oh. Captain Madison. Ugh. This is like one of those mystery stories where the person has so many enemies, the detectives don't know where to start. One of the stone slabs from the altar seems to have fallen off during the rumbling. There's some writing on it. After four extra years out at sea, their peg legs grew weak in the knees. Three steps right, but two left, till they fell off the deck and they met Davy Jones for some tea. After all I've been through, finding some limericks on a piece of stone sinking into the lava isn't all that strange. After four extra years out at sea, their peg legs grew weak in the knees. Three steps right, but two left, till they fell off the deck, and they met Davy Jones for some tea. Four years, three right, two left. See what the date was when we came down here. Is there another tablet somewhere? After four extra years out at sea, four their peg legs grew weak in the knees. Sea. Three steps right, but two left, till they fell off the deck and they met Davy Jones for some tea. I don't want to close any more possible escape routes. any more possible escape routes. There's got to be a hint about the day. Man, really? Nothing? So long, Captain Madison. So the only hint we have is that other part? How do we, like, reset this? After four extra years out at sea, their peg legs grew weak in the knees. Three steps right, but two left, till they fell off the deck, and they met Davy Jones for some tea.
Oh, oh, 1765. Oh, wait a second. Dude, there it is. So, um, we've got the eye patch, the regular looking mouth, and 1765. We got that. And then we I don't want to close any more possible escape routes. Plus four. Oh, that's not right. Four years later. So if, if this is the default, I want one, two, three, we'll just do that. You can't go actually four years later, I don't think. It was two left, three right. I was just deep in the mushroom and lava ridden oh, caves under me. Monkey Island, and now I'm. Oh no. Not yet. High Street, 20 feet. Hall of Pirates, 3 minute walk. Additional restrooms at Dinky Island. Score! Free popcorn! Dude. It seems to be stuck cl uh, must have locked when I came out. Oh my god. The windows are just pasted on. And they're not even straight. Employees only. Glad you finally made it, kid. What, Stan? It's closing time and everyone wants to go home. Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. What do you mean it's closing time? I just got here. No, oh, I don't have time for this. I'm late for an important meeting. Take my keys and shut off all the lights before you leave. I'm not liable for anything that happens after closing time. Guybrush, are you ready to go? Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. Heck, nabbit, it's locked. If only there was a key. This key doesn't fit. That was disappointingly easy. I wonder what's going on. Interesting. I found the secret of Monkey Island and all it was was this stupid t-shirt. makes LeChuck better every time. The secret is mine. Good thing LeChuck didn't find the secret first. I don't think it's his size. Nice twist adding in Madison, Trent, and Lila. The team-up had me fooled for a while. The secret is mine. Well, back to my boring flooring inspector job. Until next time. Fishing lures just like yours. Elaine, thank goodness you're here. Of course. Where else would I be? I got the secret! You finally did it! I hope it was worth it. I'm gonna have to think about that. How'd it go with Flair? Let's just say I made my point. I'm not sure where I am all of a sudden. You're right here with me. But we shouldn't stick around too long. Good show. I'm ready to go. Thanks, Trash Don't Hunter forget one. to shut off all the lights. The switch is locked.
I'm ready to go. Good. Me too. Dad, that was a silly ending, and it didn't even make any sense. You're terrible at endings. I thought you liked silly endings. You and Chucky play the ending of Monkey Island 2 really silly. That's different. We're kids, and we're just goofing around. You're the one who said you can't just change things. You said that's not how storytelling works. I did? I want to know the secret. You have to tell me what you really found in the chest. The secret was really the friends we made along the way. Stories are mainly the middle part, after all. And that's where most of the good stuff is. That sounds like one of those stupid grown-up answers. Mom, Dad won't tell me what the secret is. Are you filling our son's head with your outlandish stories again? I was telling him the one about how we found the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> Every time you tell that story, the ending gets stranger and stranger. Let's go down to the docks and watch the galleon head out. Yay! I found the lost map to the treasure of Maya Island. It's going to be a fun adventure. I'll meet you down there. That was great. I enjoyed it. I liked it. Yep. Is that really the end? Yeah! There's two other endings. That's cool. No, I liked it, man. I thought it was really good. I thought it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I mean, they, they couldn't, like, they couldn't really end it in any other way. I mean, it's, 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 I kind of expected them to do an ending like that. So, no spoilers, read the scrapbook after the credits. Okay. I will. Must have just says the whole adventure was pointless. Yeah, well, I think I think it's more of like, it's more of a it, it's a commentary on the whole thing. So, I I don't think like don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. It would have been nice for there to be an actual secret of Monkey Island, but I kind of think that the whole joke about the game is that there never is a secret. You know what I mean? Like the it, the, the the first game you never found it in the first game, you never found it in the second game. And now it gets to the end and it's like, there was no secret of Monkey Island. Like, that's the whole point. The whole point is like the whole journey was just kind of, it, 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 there never, it was all about the journey, which I think is, is kind of fun. I'm okay with that. Normally I do like a, a if a story makes the story about a conclusion in an unironic manner, then I absolutely want an ending. A, a, like that game we played recently that I had an issue with there not being an ending. But in a game like this, the whole journey kind of makes it clear that that, that that's not going to be the case. So I feel like it's a lot different. Also, also, I feel like this ending kind of fits perfectly as kind of like the older audience kind of, you know nod back to what the original two were and, and where it is now and kind of you know like he's a dad now and it's it's just it just fits this game it really really fits this game and I thought it was a really I thought it was a really fun ending I did I thought it was a really fun ending because it fits everything that this game has themed throughout its existence so yeah I liked it I really enjoyed it
I really enjoyed it. I could see why people would want more finality, because I feel like that's a that's a commentary on any ending like this, but I I thought it was great. I thought it was great. Yeah. I did. I did. I feel like it's more towards old fans who have kids now, like where the characters from the beginning and now we're grown up. Yeah, yeah. I feel I, that's that's kind of the way I look at it too. Like I grew up with the original game, you know, as like the kid pirate adventure, and now you know here I am replaying it as an as a, as, a, as an adult with kids, and and it and I feel like the the franchise kind of grew with me. <laughs> so, it maybe that's one of the reasons that I'm I'm so kind of totally fine with it is because like, in in many ways the way the game has kind of gone, you know, is very relatable for me. Yeah. As an older fan, I thought it was great. Yep. Ever play Loom? I never played Loom. Never played Loom. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. I Have they, oh, by the way, Trash Hunter, again, thank you so much for that bomb. Have they announced if this is the last Monkey Island? Like, did 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 at any point they say like this is it, or did they say they're gonna make more? Or I would I would love to see more. I could I could I mean like I feel like in terms of of a game and gameplay that this is this is a great next step for adventure games. Like we don't have enough fun adventure games. Um. And I really, really hope maybe maybe if it's not even Monkey Island, I hope I hope that Ron Gilbert decides to keep making adventure games. Like maybe he starts a whole new franchise or a whole new type of adventure game. But man, I I really, really hope that they keep making games like this. This game was so much fun. This game was so much fun. Yeah, she talked about doing the the Meyer Island adventure. Maybe that was a hint. I don't I don't know if that was a hint. Or more of just like, uh, we're going to do this kind of fun thing with our kid. And it, well, then again, she didn't specifically wait for the kid to go before she mentioned it. So, I don't know. I don't know. But man, what, I mean, what, that just, uh, such a great adventure. That was, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Pets! Princess Peanut Head. Cortis 1, Cortis A. Oh, that was fun. That was, that was really fun. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, we should probably do a thoughts video. Yeah. We'll do one after we check out the, the book at the end. Now I just wonder how much of the story was real. The premise is that none of the story was real and that the Monkey Island games are just stories that Guybrush is telling his kids while he works as a flooring inspector with his wife at an amusement park, from the sounds of it. I think the premise is that Monkey Island 1 and 2 and this one are all just stories that he's telling to his son. That's the and, and that's why there's no secret. It's because he never has a secret to tell his kid. That's why at the end, when he was like making up the secret, he just gave a non-answer. Yep. But then why does Elaine say that she has a map to the mire? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. I have no idea. I have no idea. So maybe there maybe it's some kind of side adventure hustle. <laughs> I don't know. Again, I hope there's more. I hope there's more. I really do.
Hey, Mac. Lord Pipe, it's good to see you. Very special thanks to George Lucas. That's nice. What's next on the gaming agenda? Uh, not sure. We might start Solstice this afternoon, maybe? Maybe that a try? Let me take a look at my... Um... Aww. Love it. Love it. Uh, okay. Something new has been added to the scrapbook. Hey, want to see my mighty pirate scrapbook? It's filled with my adventures. Ever since I was a kid, I... In the old... Things took a... Monkey eye... We wound up back up... Uh, these are... One time, Elaine got turned into a statue. Well, the Chuck was behind... This was a great day. Oh, man. Then... Oh, here's that... These are from the time I found the secret of Monkey Island. I started my voyage at the Scum Bar, but right away I could tell it wasn't going to be like old times. The new pirate leaders were focused on sacking and pillaging, but plunder stats aren't everything. In some quarters, my reputation was a disadvantage. I learned more than I ever wanted to know about mops. I made the unusual decision to join LeChuck's crew as a way to get to Monkey Island. Uh, 80 boy, no, I don't think so. Serving, I grew to like the crew. I forgot all about looking like a zombie and starting a mutiny and seizing the ship. The serving on the Chuck ship was an interesting experience. My disguise held up great, right up until we were nearing Monkey Island, when it, um, well, there was a failure. Gullet was my supervisor. Not a very pleasant guy. Putra was really happy when I got her promoted to chef. I got thrown off the ship, but that was okay. I'd gotten as far as I needed to. The actual return to Monkey Island was not what I expected. We all thought the secret would be on the island somewhere. Everybody had a map, some more useful than others. Elaine and I rebuilt my old ship, the Sea Monkey, so we could sail back to Melee. I learned some deeply personal things about my nemesis, LeChuck. The temporary pact I made with my enemies turned out to be about five minutes more temporary than I had hoped. It was a race to get to the secret first. LeChuck teamed up with Madison, but that was never going to last. Madison was scheming to betray LeChuck. Lila was scheming to betray Madison and LeChuck. I'm not sure Trent ever thought very far ahead. <laughs> Whitey Bones told me all about the Golden Keys. Elaine had a lot on her plate, but she was with me in the end. Carla handled earthquake relief as best she could under the circumstances. I broke Stan out of prison. Wally was kidnapped. The voodoo lady disappeared. I unseated the reigning queen to become the last queen of Bermuda. I visited Herman Toothrot in his cozy hermit cave. I hunted down all five golden keys. I wonder if I was supposed to keep these. We chased the Chuck back to Monkey Island again, and I tracked him down. Oh, it's like the old times. I found Wally. It's the old picture. That's Oh, that's awesome. Elaine held off Flare Gory while I went into the monkey. Someone had devised a series of themed pirate monkey puzzles to keep out the unworthy. Oh, shoot. I wonder when this fell out. I made this mock-up of the final puzzle. I think it's pretty neat. Can I spin it? I made this mock-up of the final... Wait, what's this? I'm going to start for another month or so, but we've been thinking about this for a while. What is this? Seems like a good time to jot down a few thoughts and then stash them away as sort of a time capsule message to our future selves about what we're setting out to do with Return to Monkey Island. Who knows, we might learn something. Monkey Island has historically been a reflection of the lives of the people who made the games. The Secret of Monkey Island was about a young person setting out to pursue an exciting new career. As designers in our 20s, that's what we all were. The sequel to Chuck's Revenge was in many ways about the difficulties of making a sequel, or at least about what one does immediately after something that felt like a great success, but which went unnoticed by most of the world at large. Many years, 20, later after Guybrush had gone on a couple of adventures with other teams with their own hopes and challenges, we set out to make Tales of Monkey Islands uh, as a story about trust, and, as, and it is, but what jumps out most for us is that it feels like a story about grown-ups. Because that's what we were. 
many of us in our 40s by then, with shortened lives and a lumpy encrusted layer of experience. We are well into our 50s now. We had lengthy careers, but we've made a lot of games. But Monkey Island still defines us to a certain degree, or at least in the minds of many. We are those guys who made that game a long time ago. And it feels like there's some unfinished business there. When the opportunity arose to come back to Monkey Island, we were pretty much on the same page as to what we wanted to do. Average like us is older now, and he had and he's had a long and reasonably successful career. He's mostly associated with something that happened a long time ago, and that feels unfinished to him. The game is a goofy pirate adventure, the same as always, but also it's a story about trying to recapture the past with all its alleged youthful strength and glory. Guybrush will both succeed and fail at this. He will sort of get what he wants, but it won't be what he expected. I predict the same for us. Oh, man. That's cool. Wow. Wow. That's really cool. What they did they didn't need to put that in. That was really nice. Yeah. <clears throat> the scrapbook clearly shows that a lot of the story was real. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway. I I I wouldn't I wouldn't go far. Anyway. Okay. 